What's going on YouTube? It is your boy TCA. I'm bringing another video today. And today it is story time with T-Clam. I think I'm going to start doing episodes of this and like make a series out of it. But anyways, as you can see in the title, this is probably one of the scariest moments of my life that we're going to get into. So let's just jump into it. All right. So about a year or two ago. Oh, no, actually, it's almost I want to say it was almost like two to three years. Anyways, so it was a while ago. Um, a really bad thing happened at my school. Um, a girl ended up going missing at my school and it was all over national news and television and it was like a really tragic thing and um everyone at my school got into it and was trying to give as much support as they could and uh obviously when someone goes missing the fbi and the police around the area um look for her and do investigations or for him or her whoever the person is uh to find them so <clears throat> of course they were doing their investigations they were searching and of course they look online too so um, somebody went on my Ask FM um, a couple days after this happened um, and posted something um, about her on my thing or something reg regarding her or something like that. Um, <clears throat> and of course, um, uh, it was kind of like a negative thing, so I responded to it and like letting them know that that wasn't okay, that they were you know saying negative things and that this is a serious matter and that this should be handled seriously and I just tried to keep it as professional and real and you know sincere as I could because you know that's not something to joke about like it was a real thing especially because I come from a small town like you don't hear about that much but it was kind of like a wake-up call that like everywhere is dangerous and the world is dangerous and you have to watch out for yourself and stuff like that and it was just really sad so anyways um the FBI looked into it and I guess saw it and um they ended up tracing my ip and coming to my house <clears throat> so it was it was a weekend i want to say it was a saturday or sunday um it was really early in the morning and my mom usually leaves early in the morning for work or she was doing errands i'm pretty sure she was doing errands anyways i was sleeping right over there on my bed i'd show you but it's extremely messy um and <clears throat> i heard a car pull up and because like my my window's right next to my driveway so i heard a car pull up and my dog barks. We have a chihuahua. My dog barks. Anytime there's anything around my house, it's kind of like our alert dog. And, um, yeah. So the dog was barking, and I woke up, and I heard a knock on the door. So, um, I sleep in, like, boxes or whatever, so I didn't have enough time to put on clothes. So I went and got... Usually I have a bathrobe hanging over there. So I went and put my bathrobe on, and my hair was really long at the time, so my hair was all extremely messed up. It looks like some Dragon Ball Z stuff. Like, it was literally awful. Like, my hair was so awful. And I didn't know who it was. So at first, <clears throat> I peeked out the window before I left my room, obviously, and I looked to see in my driveway, and I see an all blacked out charger with no license plate, and I was like, oh, what the hell? And then I look at the people, and then I was like, oh, maybe they're census people or whatever they're called, the people that like come to your house and talk to you about, I don't know, like anything, like Jesus or buying things or something like that. I had no idea. So then I was just like, I don't know what's going on. So I opened the door expecting it to be, you know somebody asking me a question or somebody doing like a, a toll or trying to sell me something. So I open the door and I greet them. I'm like, hello, like, how are you? And before I can even finish my sentence, they cut me off. They go, are you Tegan McCarthy? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah. And they're like, um, can we come inside? We have to ask you some questions. And as they're seeing this, like I'm looking at, I'm looking at them and what do I see? They're both packed with, I want to say it was a, a 45 or maybe a guard. I don't know. I couldn't really tell the model of the weapon. But they were carrying. So that's how I knew this was a, the real deal. They had weapons on them. They explained who they were. They said they were, you know, the FBI and that, um, you know, they want to talk to me regarding this case. And they sat me down. And this is before. My mom's not even home. And this is when I'm still like 15. So I'm still pretty young. So these people literally walk into my house and they start interrogating me. But the thing is, is they knew how young I was. So they took advantage of the situation. And they really... I feel they took advantage of me in a way as well. So they started like drilling me with questions and they started like, and the way these guys work and it's a technique that I feel like they, uh, they teach, you know, uh, like law enforcement and stuff like that. The way they ask you questions and like state things, they make you feel like you're doing something wrong. So right off the bat, one, I was already nervous because I just woke up and I didn't know who these people were Two, it's the FBI. So you're going to be nervous either way. Three, I thought that they thought I was guilty of doing something. So that's the last thing I want is more trouble to be on my hands. Like, I'm just a regular kid trying to go to school and trying to live life. Like, the last thing I need is the FBI on my case. Like, so, 
Um, yeah, so they come into my house, and then as, like, I'm walking into my house, because they, like, talk to me outside for a while, as we're walking into my house, my mom pulls in, and she sees that these two people with, like, guns are, like, talking to me, and she sees, like, their badges or whatever from a distance, and she came running, like, literally running from the car, and she was like, oh, my God, Tegan, like, what did you do? Like, freaking out, because she thought I did something wrong, too, and they uh, they came into our, our living room, and they put down the tape recorder, and they asked us a bunch of questions, and went through it, and at the end of the day, it was okay, but... They had to take my laptop and go through my laptop and stuff like that to make sure nothing was there. See if I had any information that could help them or any case like that. But easily the scariest moment of my life. I, the FBI for a moment in time thought I was guilty and thought I did something and my heart was racing and I was so nervous. I was choking up on questions. I was shaking. They literally told me like multiple times. They were like, just relax, just relax. Like it's okay. And I literally was like, I was so scared because like I was still young and this was the first time I like dealt with anything like this. Like I... Uh, I've never been in like real trouble like that like I never had like cops around like that was the first real experience I had with like law enforcement and it was like a really big tier of law enforcement so it was a, it was a really scary moment in my life and um yeah it was a really screwed up situation overall um it was a really sad time for everybody especially the family my condolences still go out to them and yeah it was just a really scary moment in life I don't even know Probably one of the scariest moments of my life so far. There's definitely, there'll be more stories with T-Clam coming out, but this is episode one. It's just something I wanted to drop. Haven't been dropping that much stuff lately because, um, I don't know. I haven't had, like, a lot of ideas. Um, I need you guys' help with ideas, what to upload to my channel and stuff like that. So, till next time, stay saucy. I love you all. Make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day. Eat healthy. Work out. It's America. It's summertime. Enjoy the rest of your summer. If you're already at school, I'm sorry. Till next time. Peace.